This drill is used to force students to prepare the racket as soon as they move, as the ball is fed very fast out of the machine. The key focus here is to move the racket as soon as your feet are moving, as one unit. Ideally, students just take one step to get to the ball, which leaves them more time to focus on connecting the backswing with the movement. Have student and coach alternate hitting the ball to show proper execution. As you can see here in slow motion, the racket initially moves in the opposite direction where it should move to. The racket needs to be taken back to the side the ball is going to be hit from right away. This process will often happen very naturally if you feed a couple of fastballs with the squash cannon. Here you can see already that the student prepares his racket way earlier as he takes off, which is the goal. It's preferable to have the racket ready in front of the student to force an early backswing. To make it easier initially for students, you can start with the racket to the side of their body to give a little bit more time. Under time pressure, a short and efficient swing is very important. Have students practice a couple of efficient movements without the ball prior to using the squash cannon again. It's important that the upper body opens up towards the sidewall to be comfortably be able to bring the racket back. The key focus of preparing the racket early as soon as uh, the student moves as one unit is now achieved. The next step would be to make the backswing more efficient and you might have to go to slower feeds with the squash cannon to give students more time to improve the efficiency of the racket preparation. Students should stick to a one-step movement to have more time available to better coordinate moving and preparing the racket simultaneously. Taking one step with an open stance is very common to of the ball under pressure and an early racket preparation is crucial there. Here the student doesn't rotate his body sufficiently towards the sidewall to be able to use a quick and low backswing. This is a great drill to progress gradually by feeding the balls faster and faster and see if the proper technique can be maintained under pressure.